got some coins here, and I'm going to give you a history lesson of Britain in the last 2,000 years. OK, off we go. First one is a Roman coin. I can see Caesar's head here. Second one, George III. Third one's got Queen Victoria, and the date is 1900. It's a penny. Fourth one's a half crown. Comes from George V. Another half crown, dated 1948. And last, a ten pence coin, Queen Elizabeth's reign, 1990. So that's it then, that's the history of Britain in the last 2,000 years. Now you and I know that there's an awful lot missing there. There's nothing about Alfred and the cakes, there's nothing about the fire of London, there's nothing about the First and Second World War and so on. But the great advantage of these coins in a succession like that is that each one is a very good indication of the time it was made. 1948, for example. Very clear indication. Just because you've got some bits of the record, it doesn't mean you've got the complete record. Now here's nature's coinage. They're fossils. I can see fossil colonies. I can see the spiral shell of a snail. And here a coral. These collections of fossils, called assemblages, are important because they characterise rocks. Now, life on Earth has evolved, much as coinage evolves over time. So I can use these particular fossils taken together to tell me what age this rock is. The fossils represent Carboniferous times, so these limestones must be Carboniferous limestones. Thank <laughs> you.